this is uh, starting valve for Daihatsu DC32 model generator so we are going to see how to overall this starting valve so first we will show you how to dismantle the starting valve so initially what you need to do is you have to remove the gaskets which is on both the end of starting valve use any sharp object to remove the gasket or uh, I mean sharp object in the sense you can be a sharp uh, welding rod or a minus spanner you can use to remove the gaskets so once the gasket is removed you can remove the old o-rings so in this uh, starting valve we have three number of o-rings so all the three number of o-rings can be removed and it should be discarded and new o-ring should be always used so after uh, removing this you have to open the starting valve nut for that you have to hold the valve valve which i had kept the spanner is a valve and the rear which i am opening is the starting valve nut so if you are not holding the starting valve the valve tends to rotate and you cannot able to open the nut and that is the reason we are holding the starting valve with a spanner so now after removing the nut we can remove the piston but uh, i would like to remove all the impurities carbon deposit on the body before that before that uh, just spray some wd-40 inside the body and check the starting valve piston is intact like it is not jammed it is turning that you can check with the help of nose plier so next time as i said uh, remove all the impurities with the help of buffing machine and whenever you are using buffing machine please ensure you are wearing proper ppe so after cleaning it you have to remove the piston inside the starting valve that is a tool nothing the piston have two small holes and the tool have two pins those two should match once the pin is inside the piston groove then you have to hold the piston valve piston means uh, you have to hold the starting valve with the help of spanner just like this just hold it and you can start opening the valve because the valve is held with the tightened with the piston so once you open the valve then you can remove the piston from inside so this is how you have to remove the valve and piston so for this the special tool has to be used so sometime uh, the tool if it is missing on board you have to make a tool similar to that so we had dismantled the piston we had dismantled the spring and we had taken out the valve now the starting valve is completely dismantled so next thing is you have to clean the starting valve use uh, diesel oil or kerosene to clean the starting air valve remove all impurities all the spare parts like uh, this is the piston piston should be cleaned properly all the carbon deposits any impurities should be thoroughly cleaned and next is the spring clean the spring also properly remove most of the time between the springs there will be some dirt remove that after cleaning that you have to inspect all the cleaned parts so i kept it for display so this is the spring check for any crack any abnormalities this is the piston check for the surface surface is okay no scratch no damage nothing both the surface both there are two pistons it's like tandem both the piston surface should be clean and check for the threads and this is the valve valve thread should be good condition 
and while matting surface check for the matting surface whether there is any scoring mark and uh, if there is any dot or scoring mark we can lap it this you have to check the inner surface of the body because where the piston acts so that there should not be any scoring mark or any damage inside and this is where the valve seats so valve seating surface should be checked all these things should be checked next uh, blow air and clean the parts so piston body valve starting air valve body spring all those should be blown air so all the minor tiny particles will be removed so that is the idea of blowing air so next is we will do lapping for the mating surface of the starting valve so for this use uh, fine because this uh, mating surface is not so much damage so i use only fine paste just to make sure uh, it is fully intact so remove small colors because sometimes the black color will be there that is a marking of carbon deposit so that we can remove it so apply and use a box spanner on top of it so that you can hold the either you can use uh, just tighten it this way you don't get the proper uh, match with the surface and the valve so we will use box spanner so that you will get enough uh, pressure when you are doing the lapping so that will be easy to handle also so i am going to use the box spanner with the t handle so this is what i am telling about you will get uh, enough space so this is how you have to do the lapping for the valve so the valve should be lapped uniformly and you can check when you take out you can check whether the lap uh, surface and the valve seat is properly matching or not so once you are done with this clean with the clean diesel so that you can inspect so i cleaned it and uh, i will do the lapping one more time so you can get the proper nice finish of the valve we had is finally it is good so now next thing is we are going to assemble it so as i said always any thread you fix with any molly coat or anti seizer agent so apply some lube oil since we are going to install the piston so it will ease up for so first install the valve and then install the spring then goes the piston so all you need to do is you have to press the piston against the spring and you have to tighten with the valve so you can use either the nose plier it will be very easy because uh, some tools won't be available on board because when the vessel become older you have to make some kind of jugad arrangement to make things work so this is uh, this nose plier you can use for tighten the piston along with the valve so once you can see i can easily tighten the piston so this is how you have to do the next thing is you have to you can check the surface there will be a marking so till that marking means this hole should be free this is how you can identify this hole should free this hole is for the pilot air to enter that is the idea so next is the starting valve nut i believe you should understand that the piston should be tightened in such a way it should cross the 
hole where the air is passing you cannot tight too much it should exactly cross the air passing area so once uh, that is done you can give the final tightening with the help of torque wrench the starting valve nut should be tightened with the help of torque nut torque wrench torque tightening to be given so initial tightening can be done with the help of uh, normal uh, box spanner so final tightening will be done with the help of torque value so that you don't tight too much or you don't tight less so for this uh, as per maker we are supposed to do a specified torque of 127 nm so we set the 127 nm in torque range and next you have to keep the body in vice and give the final torque tightening i believe uh, this video must have given you some idea about how to dismantle overall and assemble starting air valve of daihatsu generator thanks for watching thank you all